Hi, welcome back to another lore through of um, Dark Souls 2. I'm gonna get this anonymity guy, see if he can spawn in, and we'll take on the smelter, de uh, the smelter demon. We'll take on the boss here, which is Raim. Let's do this. This is maybe one of my favorite fights. Because I have a summon, I shouldn't take it for granted. I... I probably should have just fought this guy myself, but... Because I do love him, but... As this is a lore through, I don't need any challenges. That was a stupid move. How did I hit him? Try to dodge that, even though I don't know. I don't think that should have hit me. Staggered him. Oh god. Oh great. Uh, stem. Okay, I thought that was gonna be the multi hit. See, and that's why I'm doing it with a with a person, because then it's like. Just makes it so that he's not concentrating on me the whole time. So I can like safely do this without worrying about playing it for like three or four times. I can't believe I'm like falling underneath his attacks. I love that. Just thank you. Yeah, you didn't really do much, but thanks. Okay. So was that the trigger? No, we still have ten. Okay, but we did get the soul of. A oh. So we just got one of uh, Alana's or Nadalia's souls, and then we got um, what else did we get? I shouldn't have clicked through that so quickly. Is this what I got? A piece of iron shaped like a key. Past the altar deep within the iron keep through a door is the tower that old iron king used to produce iron. The unearthly weight of this chunk of iron is a reminder of the iron king's own immeasurable strength. Huh. Maybe that was it. I'll have to watch the playback and if there's something else I will go through it. So I, th I believe this to be Alana. Or, pff, I keep saying that. Nadalia. As she bore the crown of the old Iron King. Herself. Faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Crown of the old Iron King who once ruled this land. The king sunk below the scorching iron. Met the one whose name must never be repeated and became Icarus Earth. 
But these were events of long ago, and today no one even remembers the king's name. With well, a name who must not be repeated, the only reference that we've found is Navlon, but that might be Gwyn or whatever, because the old king soul is what you get from beating on New Game Plus, and that's how I guess Icarus Earth became whatever. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I guess, um, oh yeah, this, I'm only five minutes into this episode. I'm recording like a whole bunch right after another, so I'm like, where are we at? Okay, well, we beat the main boss of this DLC in the first five minutes. No, but I, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to... Uh, yeah, let's, okay, so the first thing is, I guess we'll go here, and we'll, we'll unlock everything that we can here, and then we will, um, oh, you know what, maybe the other Nadalia is here, actually. I'm just gonna go for it. I remember this area being tough, but again, I have definitely not played this since the first time I played it, which is almost, I don't know. Five years ago? No, 2004, so four years ago. I think it was 2014 this came out. I just don't know where it is. I suppose if you do this one by one. I, I would imagine it's like deeper down here. These guys don't die, that's the problem with those guys. So I just have to find her body. I thought there was like 16 of these guys, but it could be that there's 12. Because there's. That was the last smelter sword or whatever. So I don't know. Fire Snake. Pyromancy created by the Magus Igil? Igil? Loy of Father the Old Iron King. Nigel sought to grant fire a will of its own. This pyromancy was conjured up to behave like a snake, writhing toward its prey with a mind to strike. Huh, that's interesting. And I can't remember if there's any hidden places for this reason that I never come back here, so I'll just check. So I'm just gonna look. That doesn't look like one, so it might be trapped, but. Oh, really? I thought there was like something down in here, but. I guess if you want that pyromancy. Alright, so the other thing we gotta do.
is just get this other bonfire. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. It's the it's the one area in this DLC that's meant for multiplayer, and you know, like I don't think it's uh for how well everything else is designed. It's certainly like it's, it shows that it's intentional. But I just I don't know that I agree with that. <laughs> like I don't I just don't like um, how they're designed. In fact, I think Blue Smelter Demon, which is the you know the optional boss I'm gonna call it of this DLC, I think is the only Dark Souls boss I've never beaten. And that won't change today. Okay, so we have that, and now we want to go to. I guess we can go here. Yeah, and then that's it for this DLC. The other places are for the other DLC. Or the, yeah, the third DLC. Oops. <laughs> My stuff is still there. Alright. Here's hoping they fix this one section. There was all these prowlers that invade. I mean, it was just impossible to kill them. I, I mean, and they dropped their set, but I think their set was one that they put into the Scholar of the First Sin. I can't remember if we talked about that or whatever, but it's like a, it's like the Predator armor. <laughs> they look like a bunch of Predators. So we'll see if they've done this a little bit more tastefully. So yeah, I don't think I have a smelter wedge. I guess you get a couple up here or something. I don't know. Or one. But like, how are you supposed to fight these guys? Because, you know, then there's just four of them. I guess you can... Oh my dear lord. You can flatten all of these guys at the same time. Oh, great move. Okay, they're dying pretty easily, actually. I feel like that one guy was more powerful or something. And I, I gotta also remember that the first time I played this was like pretty much the first time I'd ever played any Dark Souls. So to assume that any experience I had playing this the first time could be objective. Mad Warrior. Yeah, and they still, yeah. They don't, they don't have that in the game. Gauntlets from an unknown foreign lane. Land. King Vendrick called upon powers from beyond his borders in an attempt to stave off the curse. Perhaps they belong to one of his guests. Hmm. Interesting. Well, is that where they were producing it? Like where the column shot up earlier? There's the bull. Uh, 
There's a katana and some armor up there. Now I hope the Ashen Mist hurts all I need here. I hope I don't need another smelter wedge and I've missed it like an area. I can't remember another area. Hopefully the smelter wedge is in here. We might do this a, a few times. I don't really remember Serlon all that much. Although I have friends. Still wield, wield glory. Drifter Swordsman Adel. Let's try it. And then if, you know, maybe send... This will just be to get through this area. I don't know how long you have. Because it's like all other... Oh yeah, and these are just like straight up... The Elan Knights, which is great. But this, this, this little area can be a little bit... Uh, Hello, guys. Can you help me? Lone Knight armor. Of course, we've gotten that before. And we have these uh, fire lizards, which I guess makes sense. Whoa! Go do that. What do these guys drop? Oh, interesting. I don't remember if I knew that or not. Maybe <laughs> maybe earlier when we fought those that they did that before too, I don't know. Oh here's a captain. Get out of here. I love how they're all like violently exploding up. Oops. <laughs> This is the guy to kill, by the way. Like, to kill permanently. Because you can run through this really easily if he's gone. Alright. Again, I haven't done this, like, 100% for a while. Remember, there's two levels to this. I'm just gonna take out these guys, like, a little bit, and then these guys can finish them off. Okay. Always love me some repair powder. Radiant life gem. Ooh, that can hurt me. Okay. Come on. Alright. Ooh, okay. What happened there? Oh, I felt like. I was getting hit by something else like that. Uh, but I, they, they prevent me from moving back. That's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is great. And this is fine. If I don't have to do this every time I try to f take on the boss. Uh, that's how we came down here. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, they can heal. Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, I thought I... Oh, okay. I was like, I thought I saw an item up here. Twin Blade plus seven. Yeah, keep healing, guys. We're gonna need ya. I'll probably send home the weakest one, and then... Huh. Was there something here? Oh, there's more items up here. Okay. I miss those. Okay. So I guess that means that Adel is going away. The only thing I know about this boss that I remember is that you only hit once every time you get a chance. Don't even attempt to swing twice. But here we meet Saralon. And if we're really efficient with him, then we can actually get him to commit Sapoku. But I don't think we'll get that. I just broke my own advice. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize we were at that state. I'm trying to get out of there. I love his fast moves, like he has a good wind up. That's a good time you can hit him twice if he gets staggered. He it looks like he has CRN's like helm. Like with the long hair. Ooh, that was a little bit too early. I remember playing this guy so much. He was my favorite boss for a while. So, I still remember a lot of his moves. Yeah, of course, did not take my own advice. I'm like just hoping that I can get Sapoku. Oh yeah, there is a smelter wedge over here. I forgot. Sir, soul of Serlon, who once served the old Iron King. Serlon came from an eastern land and became the king's most trusted knight. Use the wondrous soul of his of this knight to acquire numerous souls.
This is either for Sarlon or the king. All right, well, let's see if Let's see if um, 12 is indeed the number. I think I can't think of any other places to go in this DLC. And we, it's just, we had one left and one smelter wedge, so I think this is it. I think it's 12 gives you the... Uh, tells you any uh, different story. We'll see. In the act of dancing, the Bride of Ash was transfigured as smoke, enticing people to her residence. And so her seat of power came to be known as the Broom Tower. I wonder if broom means something about dancing then. Or s smoke? I don't know. I don't know what broom means in this sense. Uh, the wonder soul of this auger of solitude can be used to acquire numerous souls. That's awesome. All right, so we have two things to do. First is we can, I guess, you know, we're paying a tax now to go to Ornifex, but I, we might as well do it every episode just because, you know, who cares? Um, and then we have to go to Vendrick. Let's go to Vendrick first. And we can um, talk to him and see if he has anything new to say now that we have this. He was calling us a moth last time, which is extremely offensive. Okay, that's the best way to clear those out. That's not that big of a deal, so it's okay that they changed that. There used to be a million cyanites there too, that was harder. Maybe the only thing is that you talk to him after you've gotten all of them. I know that's a thing, I just didn't... I thought there was something each time, so... Okay, so let's... I guess let's just go to Ornifex... right away. Oh, my dear lord. Okay, so it's not based on skill at all. Or, it's, it's 
not based on soul level, it's not based on level. Wow, I love how that just like... That just straight up, they were attacking me like while I was praying without any like... Usually if you're doing an action, like... I mean, I guess it's M NG plus three, maybe I'm just not perceiving it right, but like... Usually if you're doing an action and people are attacking you and you can't get out of it, you get like minimized for damage, like hyper armor applied. Um, and in Dark Souls 1 you had just nothing, like, you, uh, you know, you just didn't take any damage. But with this, like, that just, they just did full damage to me while I was praying, I think. You provide, I... Okay. So we'll get the Fume Ultra Great Sword, which I actually might do. I love this sword. Um, I'd have to respec again, but I'd be willing to do that for this. Just because it's it's pretty cool. Straight sword forged from the soul of the Fume Knight and imbued with the dark of Nadalia. The exile sorcerer, sorcerer Raim had the ability to expunge the black fog, but chose instead to live alongside it in the company of the child of dark that haunts his sword. So apparently his <laughs> his sword has a shard of manis in it. And we learned about that sorcery that the children of dark knew. I mean, it makes sense that it was there. Also, the black fog is most likely that area that just curses you constantly. <laughs> Although that seemed to be created by the Nadalia, and she came after the Old Iron King. But Raim isn't the Old Iron King, so I guess, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to probably get that. Chime of Screams. Sacred Chime forged from the soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. Nothing appears sacred about the frightful design of this chime, and it does have the benefit of raising one's faith. The oozing frozen iron forming the bell seemed to anticipate a scream. Come again. I'm gonna wait to get that just in case straight has something. Straight, and I guess in the episode a little early. Uh, yeah, the steel. I kill all these guys all the time, but I suppose. They kind of change it so you don't have to. I just get so nervous, like why would you even risk it? Alright. Strayed, talk to me. I don't, I mean, he didn't have anything. Oh, here's something. Looks like black flame, similar to, you know, what you're talking about. Well, Nadalia and also the um, uh, Calamite. If I would guess, this would be like the uh, t the Pillars of Fire, but with the Black Fire, just like Nadalia was doing. Pyromancy of Nadalia spouts multiple dark flames. Yeah. This child of dark, bearing an inconceivable strength, found herself in a kingless land devoid of souls, and in journeying there, has all but condemned herself to a faith most wretched. I wonder if she also imbued herself... If she infused herself in the sword that Raim used, because Raim obviously is still there and was banished there after he left Vendrick. So I wonder if she in some way like enchanted his sword when he got there. Thanks.
I guess I can pick this up now that I don't have it in my inventory. Oh no. Oh, I can't pick up the, those particular things. Alright, did he get anything new? Nope. Are you sure? I wish he would carry more stuff. I mean, there's some pretty awesome, like, fashion in this game. But, you know, if they had more stuff, it would be pretty cool. Alright, come on, let's level up a little bit more. Until. Oops. Okay, 30. And I mean... <sighs> I'm just gonna go adaptability right now. I might respec when I get the fumes start, but that, that that'll probably just be after the series, so. Alright, so I guess let's just go to the next area and then we can start it the next um, the next episode. Oh yeah, I forgot they added these stupid dogs that run away. I guess I can just avoid them altogether. Is this the right direction? Is or is this the Aldius keep? Keep okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it's during like is this way. Keep forgetting that. Oops. What happened to that? Okay. I hate their animations are so weird. Oh yeah, and there's these guys. Man, I almost forgot. Okay. Hopefully this guy doesn't bug me. Okay. Well, that'll be it for this episode. Um, a broom tower DLC. Um, join us next time for Ilium Lois um, and the crown of the old ivory or the ivory king or whatever. And uh, yeah, uh, see you next time. Bye.